Okay guys, time to get unready with me. So my very first step in my nighttime routine is just to take off all my makeup and do like a really deep clean. So this doesn't generally get all of the makeup off, but it does get the majority of it off. So I use this amazing little tool, it's called the Face Halo, and I literally can't take my makeup off without it. It's just like a fuzzy little pad, and it has these special fibers that grab onto the makeup and just get it all off. But I like to use it with this fresh soy face cleanser. So I just put a little bit of warm water on the pad. I've been using fresh for maybe about like a year now, and now I'm completely hooked and obsessed. So you take your little pad, and see it's like really a lot coming off there. And it takes off your eye makeup really quickly. Like even if I have waterproof mascara on, like this will take it off. So then I'll use this Glossier solution, which I'm also now obsessed with. I've been using this for maybe like eight months. And one of my best friends from Hawaii actually told me to start using it because I was getting little breakouts like under my skin up here. So this has been really good because at first I was just using that face halo and I'll show you how much more makeup comes off with this, see? So it's like really takes off the extra layer that you need. Like I was literally going to sleep in this and just caking moisturizer over all of this makeup. So this is like a really essential step for me. And it also just evens out my skin tone and just kind of makes it all nice and smooth. So my next step is also kind of just like an acne spot treatment just for my T-zone and areas that I get a little bit more oily. So this is a SkinCeuticals Blemish and Age Defense. And it kind of dries out my skin if I use too much, so I'll just kind of use a couple drops. And like I said earlier, I get little pimples right here on my forehead. It's like only on this left side for some reason. So I'll just kind of put it there, a little bit on my chin, and then a little bit here around my nose. See, I got this pimple just in time for this video. So that's great. <laughs> so in the summertime, like I'm doing a lot more, I'm sweating more because of the heat. So I tend to break out a lot more. Although in the winter, like the problem that I have with my skin is that it's super dry. I don't have acne, so it's kind of like dry skin acne. <laughs> what do you want? All right, so my next step is this Vino Perfect. It's by Caudalie. They're one of my favorite brands. If you guys follow any skincare stuff I do, like I'm obsessed with them. Um, and this is their essence. So it's just kind of like a brightening essence that I use just at night. I just do a couple drops there, and then you just kind of slap it on your face. And it just kind of takes your skin from looking like dull and tired and dry to like bright and yeah it just kind of gives you that little extra glow my next step is my eye cream this is again by Caudalie and this is their resveratrol lift yeah this is probably one of the most important steps for me because i get really really dry around my eyes and also like the first signs of aging that i'm seeing is around my eyes and i've learned that you put the eye cream on your ring finger. And then you're just supposed to pat around your eye. So my next product that I love is, again, by Caudalie, and it's part of their Vino Perfect range, which is what the brightening essence was from. And I love this serum because, again, it's focusing really on brightening. And I just really love when my skin looks like bright and hydrated and fresh. So just a thin layer. And then before I put anything on, I kind of like to just let that marinate for like at least like 30 seconds just before you put anything else on so it can really get in there. So I've been using Caudalie for years and I'm just so obsessed with so many different parts of their range because the story's really cool that they came from like a, a vineyard and they use the grape seeds in their products. So I like that all of their stuff is really natural. They don't test on animals and it's all like this really nice scent palette, if that's what it's called. <laughs> all right, so this next product's a little weird. <laughs> it's um, actually snail mucin, and I don't know if you guys have heard of it, but it's like the celery juice of skincare, like everyone's obsessed with it right now. And basically it's like apparently the fountain of youth. No snails were harmed 
in the making of this. I've read all articles about it, so you don't have to worry about the snails. So honestly, I've only been using it for a couple months, but I really like the smell. Um, it kind of smells like aloe a little bit, and it just feels cool and nice on my skin. When I wake up in the morning now, like I can definitely tell a difference. My skin's much more dewy. Everything else I've been using forever, and I just recently added this in, and now I'm fully obsessed. So my nightly moisturizer that I've been using is the Caudalie again, and this is the third step in this Vinyl Perfect range. So again, it's all about brightening and making it look glowy and alive. <laughs> so this is their Vino Perfect Glycolic Night Cream. Just take like a little bit there. And then I just cover my whole face to get like a pretty thick layer. This cream's a little heavier, which I don't mind because I have really dry skin. And also just at night, I'm not putting any makeup on over it. So it totally works for me. All right, so my next step is just a lip balm. This again is from Fresh, and it's their Advanced Therapy Dream. I like this because it has a little bit of tint, so I don't feel completely heinous when I go to bed. And then I use another Caudalie product. This is just like their grape spray. And I like to just finish it off. Ah, oh, it's so nice. <laughs> and then I take my Rose Quartz Jade Roller and I just roll all of the product into my skin. And sometimes if I'm feeling really fancy, I'll put this in the fridge because it's nice and cooling. Just to roll all the products in there. So it's like a nice little moment. I can treat myself after a long day. And it actually feels really good. I just love jade rollers. I could jade roll all day. So my last step is just like a little aromatherapy moment that I have for myself. And I love lavender, it's like one of my favorite scents. So I just take some lavender oil and rub it in my hands. And then I'll do like, you know how when you get a massage they tell you to take three deep breaths? Like, that's what I do. So I love the lavender oil because after a long day, being at the office, being out and about like, it really calms me down, brings me back to the center and just relaxes me and gets me ready for bed. <laughs> I hope you guys learned something and I hope you liked my nighttime routine and I gotta go because now I'm going to sleep. <laughs>